What's up everybody? Uh, finally back. Sorry, I know there's a long delay between these videos, but uh, you guys keep encouraging me, so I uh, like all the comments going on. And uh, one of the... well, you'll notice that the only change that I made from last video to this video is I have some categories up here for a menu. And that's because one of the requests was to create one of the infamous bootstrap menus uh, out of the Magento navigation menu. And if you don't know what the uh, bootstrap menu looks like, uh, I can give you a rough sample. Oops. Those are not the right ones. Okay, bootstrap nav. Here we go. So basically, what we'll be doing is creating a menu that has this, and then infamously, once you get down to a smaller screen size, it switches over to the I call it the hamburger icon, and your navigation can drop down like that. And then you can expand back out and you have your menu. So this would probably be one of the, I don't know, I guess one of the more difficult things, uh, but I can take it through it. It's actually not too uh, difficult. First thing I'm going to go to is go to the place that uh, renders this out here. And let's look at the anatomy here of that menu. Basically, all they do is they wrap it in a class, give it a role of navigation here, and then this section right here is pretty much just the top. So, navbar header, this is where it creates a button, um, and that button is the uh, little hamburger button that you saw. Um, each one of these spans is uh, just contains a class and this class outputs one of the lines in that bar. So, if I were to go here, just to give you an idea of what's going on with those spans, if I were to go and edit this, and just remove one of these, it's just going to remove one of the lines from that bar. Uh, just if you were uh, curious there. So let's go ahead to the uh, location and navigate, uh, I'm sorry, location of Magenta where this is rendered. And that would be in, yeah, app design, front end, default, choose your theme, template, then page, then HTML top menu.phtml and this is where it has a surrounding div and we're basically going to be putting in all the uh, bootstrap classes now I can paste this code if you guys want um, but there's always uh, if you go to uh, getbootstrap.com um, you can always get the uh, default navbar uh, html so let's make this not very complicated. So everything is surrounded by this nav tag, right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And right in here, this is going to say if there is a menu, which there is, add that nav, surround it right there. Perfect. Okay, now, like I said, this is the top section. So I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Do, 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 do. Right here. Okay, so this tells Bootstrap uh, what to display when the navigation is in that uh, condensed uh, drop-down state. Um, now if we look down here, we'll see another div, and this is the uh, div for the navbar collapse. 
And this is all sampled from the Bootstrap site. And what I'm going to do is, you see how we have div class equals nav container here? This is Magento's stuff. I'm just going to replace that with this div. And I'll even leave the ID there. Um, doesn't really matter. And then right here, Magento has ul ID equals nav. And I think Magento does require the nav right there. So we're just going to add the class that is in their example. Okay, so we have class equals nav, and we've added that. Now let's go ahead and check out uh, what that does. Now the styling definitely won't look right at first. Uh, there's definitely going to be something that we need to do there. Uh, but let me go ahead and refresh this and you can see we have the brand um, that always comes out and sometimes that might be good for uh, times when you have it like this and you might want to say like hey navigate here uh, for right now I'm just gonna comment that out and there's ways to only show it when it's on uh, you know when it's mobile but for right now I'm just gonna comment that out quickly and I think my cat just woke up that might be interesting so we have that and let me go ahead and refresh to make sure that we got rid of the brand okay and we have our navigation menu now like I said the styling uh, needs a bit of work, right? So let's go. Uh, let's go back up here. And we're gonna go to skin, front end, default, and your theme name, CSS, styles.css. I already have it open. And basically, what's happening here is uh, these icon or these uh, menu items are still floating left and that's not ideal so let me see if it's worth it to actually go here but you notice that uh, nav A has a float left and I'm sure this list item has a float left so once we get rid of that uh, should be good so notice it's on line 558 here and I'll go ahead and comment this out and notice also on 560 we have another float left and we will see what this does I'll bring it back out. Okay, refresh the page, then bring it back in. Perfect. And if you're a CSS designer, you can go crazy with this. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want as far as coloring or styling, anything like that. Um, now the other thing that you probably noticed is that this thing stretches all the way across the screen, uh, which isn't cool. So one thing I'm going to take note of is the thing has seems to have a bottom margin. Oh, fuck it, I'll just uh, show you in CSS. I guess we'll take this class selector, navbar default, and go to my style sheet. Okay, and I'll, I'll just go to the bottom of the style sheet. And I'll give this a max width. Nine forty pixels, and then you want to do margin left auto 
margin right auto and that'll center it for us so yeah there you have it it's uh, that's implementation of the uh, bootstrap sub navigation menu and you can go wild uh, depending on how much CSS you know um, let's say I want to change the background color um, change it to black I don't know how that would look <coughs> Yeah, it looks pretty ugly, but um, just showing you how uh, things can work out pretty easily. Uh, but yeah, any uh, questions, just let me know. If something doesn't out, work out, let me know. Um, sorry about my last video, by the way. I was sick as hell, and it was like 5 in the morning. Uh, but I hope this helps as far as getting the uh, navigation bar uh up and running for a uh, mobile friendly site here so uh, let me know if comments feedback or videos that you might want in the future uh, if anybody wants to learn how to do some Magento extensions and uh, you know create your own plugins and stuff like that uh, I might be doing that in uh, maybe the next couple of videos but uh, for now I hope this helps and uh, have a happy new year